Hello, tiny little CG man here. Yes, it's good old Teebs with Alien Breed 92 Special Edition. Now, this originally came out, as the name implies, in 1992, and it is the expanded budget title of the original Alien Breed, which came out in 1991. Now, just like the original Alien Breed, I am playing this special edition of the game on a actual Commodore Amiga, my Amiga 1200. There is a DOS version of the game. You can buy that on GOG. It comes with the third game in the series, Tower Assault. The second game is still... Amiga exclusive and that version has four additional levels than this one this one has 12 and the soundtrack to that one sounds like toilet sounds in my opinion so I don't know I like I think this is the better of the two versions now before we begin I do need to note that on my Amiga 1200 I am playing this using WHD load this is essentially a hard drive installation of the game you take your floppy or your backups of your floppies and you install them using a script to the hard drive. Now we're doing that because, well, I've been burnt a lot of times so far with hard read errors and bit rot floppies for the Amiga, and I'm not dealing with that headache for this run. So yeah, let's begin. We're gonna start in three, two, one, go. And while we're waiting for the game to load, I'm gonna take a quick sip of beverage. Mmm, good bepis. Anyway. Let us now talk about the plot to the video game. You are Johnson or Stone. I, I don't know exactly which of the two, but you have been sent to this space station hovering over a gas giant owned by the Intech Corporation by your employer, the Interplanetary Corps, to investigate why the space station has been very, very silent as of recent. Well, I can tell you one thing. They've not gone on vacation. They're not having like a big sleep in their bed going honk shoo, honk shoo. No, 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 no. Everybody's dead, Dave, and it's because of the alien breed. Now, Teebs, you're, you must be thinking, or maybe not, I'm not you. How are you going to save the day, then? Well, this is a running gun, kind of like Gauntlet, but not exactly. We're running, we're gunning, and we're going to have to get through the 12 levels. Sometimes just getting to the end. Other times we're going to have to do a, like a specific objective in order to initiate a self-destruct sequence so we can get to the deck lift. And this level is of the former, just get to the end. But we're also going to have to focus on picking up certain amounts of money. At least up till level 7. And then we're also going to have to make sure that we're picking up keys and either having a net positive for each level end or not using more than we're picking up. So for the credits... I do need at least 48,000 by the end of the third level. There is a shopping terminal that I'll be going to, and I'm going to buy a flamethrower with it, which I think is probably the best weapon of this game. Some people will argue with me on that, but I've also sped run this game a lot in the past, like, couple of months, and the flamethrower, objectively, from what I've seen from my, you know, research with it, is the best weapon of the game. It's the most accurate it has a good rate of fire, and it's just, it feels good to use in the game. And we're going to have to not die, because if we die, we will lose it, because we have to restart the game via passcodes, and that's going to be fun. Anyway, let's finish this level up. On to deck two. This has the first proper objective of the level. In this level, we're going to have to destroy four units, four nodes, four tanks, with our gun. And once we've destroyed the fourth one, a self-destruct sequence will begin. We have 60 seconds to get the hell out of Dodge. If we are not out of the map before the end of that timer, well, we get a game over. Now, I just did a very tricky little movement there, and I know what you're thinking, but Teeps, it's just turning a corner from a door. But yeah, your hitbox drifts, though, so that was actually really tricky. Because if I opened that other door, I would have had to use ammo to open the door that I picked up the two keys from initially. This w may come back to haunt me later, because there are certain careful maneuvers that we can try to do to not take deaths. So after picking up some additional credits and keys, we're heading towards the second one. We're going to go into clockwise motion to start. Once we destroy the second node, we'll head back to the hub area of the map, and then we will take the rest of the level in a counterclockwise. No, yeah, counterclockwise motion. I had to think about that for a second. All right, let's 
carefully get through here. I'm going to only pick up two of the three keys and 1,000 credits there. And we're going to go ahead and do that. Pretty good. And then we're going to make our way back. So we're already halfway done with the level. And we've got a decent amount of keys. And we are going to run out of keys by the time we get to the hub. Because we're going to have to pick up additional money. We're going to go through a one-way gate. As the name implies, if you try to go back the other way, you die. So, yeah, uh, don't die. Very important. All right, so now we're going to head towards the third node. We're going to pick up one key so that we can open this door. Pick up two additional keys, which will open up two additional doors. And then we can start building up a surplus of keys. <clears throat> Now, I'm not going to pick up that health kit because I'm already at full health, but I will probably have to pick it up exiting this section. Oof. Now, I also need to be a little bit careful with opening door, not opening door, shooting enemies, because sometimes the explosions of the enemies dying will actually eat your shots. I know that sounds really funny of a concept to think about, but trust me, it's, it's not fun in the slightest because you can have an enemy die, and then your shot gets eaten, and then you get hit. Anyway, we're finishing up the level. There's this countdown timer. And we're gonna, before we leave, pick up some more money and keys. As you can see, we're now at six keys leaving this level. And we're going to open this door up. Pick up a offset. Get one additional key, use up a key, and now we head into deck three. Now we're going to go a little bit out of our way to start this level, and then we'll get back onto the main path. But we have to take a little bit of a detour to get some additional money. And that's going to start by picking up this key so that we can offset opening this door. And then we'll pick up a second and third key to offset opening these two doors. And we get a nice... 2,500 credits right there just for doing that. Now we can begin the level proper, and this level is very important because we have to open, or rather activate, fire doors, so we're actually closing them. And we need to destroy three of the little alarm buttons to close three doors of the four. Once the third one is closed, the self-destruct sequence will begin. Now this level is very tricky because it is very possible to soft lock the game by accidentally closing the fire door before you go through it. So I have to be very careful and not have that happen. More particularly, it's the second fire door that we'll be going to that has the highest potential of that happening. So again, let's hope that doesn't happen. All right, so we're gonna carefully make our way through. Get an additional key. I'm going to try to thread the needle here so we don't open any of these. Good. I'm going to try to carefully turn the corner here. Very nice. Sit in a little pocket there so we don't accidentally close the door. There we go. Two of the four doors are closed. And now we're going to make our way towards the third door. The shopping terminal that we're going to need to go to is right beside it, so it's very convenient. And we'll actually activate that specific fire door and then just race to the exit. But before that, let's get some more keys. Let's get some more money. We got 4,000 credits and seven whole keys to pick up. However, after picking up this key, we get an ambush. Ah! You may have noticed the enemy behavior like changed on the fly right there. They were going a little bit slow and then they just started speeding up. Which is very bizarre. All right, I'm just gonna pick that key up and it looks like it worked out in my favor. So let's finish topping off the money that we need. Now we should have 48,000. If for some reason I don't, I can just go a little bit farther and grab some money. I'm gonna hold B button. And now we get to deal with the worst aspect of this game, the menuing. All right, here we go. Ugh. Can't loop, can't wrap around so you have to manually mash the button and I have to use my right hand for the d-pad on that and then use my left hand to hit the button So that's pretty cool Anyway, let's finish this level up 
Gonna pick up that key to offset opening this door. And then, yeah, we are gonna head on to deck four. Now, this level is very fun for multiple reasons. Number one, there is no health pickups in this. If I was to take my first death of the run, it will probably be in this level specifically. Number two, it introduces legally distinct smaller aliens, definitely not based off of things from major motion picture franchises, neither were the aliens in the initial levels. Those are definitely legally distinct. Now, it also introduces the portholes. There's the porthole. If I am standing on a porthole while it is open, I die. Very simple, straightforward. All right, I'm going to take a little bit of time to make sure I don't run into anything. Very nice. There's a pull hole right here. Very nice. Made it through. On to deck five. This is the first boss level. There are three bosses in this game. They're on five, seven, and twelve. And they are really, really straightforward. Like, it's laughably easy of a boss. So let's just get through it. So we're going to carefully do this. That's fine. And I'm going to try to aim to go for the health kit. Now, I know what you're thinking. Teeps, why don't you just walk into the one-way door and then just skip that section that you're walking through right now? Oh, you can't do that. I found that out the hard way. Uh, you have to walk this way. Now, I am going to skip the key that's a little bit farther down. That hallway. Okay, that's fine. So we don't have to use up way too much time. All right, let's pick up some money. And then I'm going to line myself up so I can get the spawner enemies out of the way. And then we're going to walk at the top because it's a little bit faster because we won't get caught up on a quote-unquote hill of cables. Cool. Going to have to pick up a little bit more money. Now, since I picked up the flamethrower, we're picking up money specifically to buy key packs and an additional life in the next level. Not the next level, but two levels from now. And we're getting a lot of money in the next level. However, there is a very, very, very funny, depending on how you want to look at this, thing that happens in the next level. But we'll get into that in just a bit. First, let's do the boss. Here's how easy this boss is. I'm going to stand in this corner. I'm going to fire my weapon by tapping the fire button. Tapping, not button mashing. Tapping. And we can just quick kill the boss. And every single boss is like that. So level 7's boss is going to go by probably as fast. If not faster. Sometimes I've had it be very short. Anyway. Done with deck five, on to deck six. Now, remember when I said there was something very funny, depending on how you want to picture it? Well, the developers of this game are sadists. So, as you've noticed, some of the levels have had some substantially high times in order to exit the levels. 90 seconds in a later level, 60 seconds, 40 seconds, or 45 seconds. What if we had a level where you only get two seconds to finish the level? Teebs, that sounds absolutely absurd. What developer would think that's a good idea? Well, this developer thought it was a good idea, and you're about to experience it, because the end of this level, I am not joking, requires you to touch a little smiley face, which would normally be like a one-up. I mean, it's a smiley face. Why would it be evil? And then it turns evil, and then the timer pops up. Sometimes that timer will pop up immediately. That's the bad one. We want the good outcome, where it takes a little bit before the timer shows up. I don't know which one it's going to be. That's the fun part. And if that happens, I'm going to have to use a level code to restart the game. And I'm going to have to start the game, go to the terminal on the first level, use it, teleport to the level in question, and then try again. Except I'm going to have to use the arc fire instead of the flamethrower. And uh, I don't like the arc fire, I'm going to be honest with you. So let's think positive thoughts, not only about David Lynch, but let's also think positive thoughts about this level so that we don't have a bad outcome. Let's see.
before we head towards the sadism corner, we're going to quickly head over here to get some more keys. And also top off on some health. And ammo. Very important that we're topping off on ammo. Next level has a lot of fighting in it. Anyway, we're now approaching the fun section of the level. So let's see what we're going to get. But before we do that, I do have to play the level assuming that I'm going to actually beat it. So we're going to pick up these keys and this money because we are going to be buying some keys in the next level along with the extra life. And here's the smiley face. Alright, we got a good ending. Oh. Alright, deck seven. It's shopping time, but before we do that, we're going to need to, well, get some more money. I don't know how I didn't avoid that, but okay. But yeah, we're going to pick up a few thousand credit pieces. There are going to be some, like, 100 credit pieces that are lying about. We're going to actually ignore them. They're not actually that important to pick up. And I'm going to try to carefully set this up so on my return trip, we'll get to that. I can grab that health kit. Now, I know what you're thinking. Well, are you going to go back to the deck lift that you just came off of? No, 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 no. You'll, you'll see what I mean in a bit. But we have the second boss we have to defeat, but we have to do some shopping first. And this is... This can absolutely eat a lot of time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by just picking up the first two key packs and then leaving. We have to go start a new shopping sequence every time we want to buy a new key pack. Because you can only buy one at a time. So here's number two. And here's number three. And we're going to buy the extra life now. Which is going to cost 30,000 credits. Alright. Additional life. Key pack. And you know what? We'll get a high energy injection as well. Just so we have enough health. Alright. Alright. Just to top it off. I probably should have picked up an ammo cache, but I'm also about to pick one up. So. But yeah, now we have enough keys that we should realistically, alongside picking up more keys as we're progressing, have enough to finish the game with. And to help ensure that we can keep that amount of keys, I'm going to go through this door because it only requires one key to go through the whole passageway. I'm going to bump that door open because we will be coming back this way a bit later. And now we're going to defeat the second boss. Alright. Come on. There we go. Good. Now we have 199 seconds to get through the level. And we're going to have to go back the entire way that we came. So, have fun. That's fine. That's fine. Remember that health kit that I didn't pick up? We're going to use that. I am having the worst, ruck, worst luck right now. Sorry, I do actually have a little bit of a speech impediment when it comes to certain syllables, so... It's not fun. Anyway. Yeah, we're going to have to come back the way we came. I'm having pretty bad luck right now. And... Hopefully, we won't have any more damage. We are going to be able to pick up a health kit, though, in just a second. There's the health kit. Going to pick up an extra life. And now I'm going to approach this ramp coming up at an angle so we can actually traverse up it a little bit faster. Just a little bit, because we'll be going at the same speed as we're going at the bottom of it. Since we're going diagonally, we won't actually have the stair climbing, like, slowing speed. All right. Deck eight. Now, I have been talking about the fact that we need to make sure that we have a net positive of keys or neither negative nor positive gain on certain levels. This is the level for that reason. We're going to have to spend 10 keys in just a second. And in fact, when I say just a second, I mean now. That's fine. And to be rewarded for that, we're going to watch an alien walk through a wall. Hooray! 
I can't believe that alien walked through a wall. Enough about that, let's keep going. This is not deck eight. This is, or not even deck nine, this is a duct. We're gonna have to take the duct to get the deck 10. Now, there are no enemies on this level, it is just us. We had to get to the end, so it's just a nice peaceful stroll. Nothing bad will happen, nothing at all. Oh wait. Nah, it's fine. I, it's, it's not that much of an issue. I know the exact path that I need to take, so... We just need to carefully walk this way. Now, the nice thing about this level is that it doesn't have anything going on other than get to the end. So you can just play this level with one hand, which is very good, because I'm going to need to take a sip of beverage, because my throat is getting very sore right now. Alright, there we go. And we're going to carefully get there. Okie doke, deck 10. This is the last level with a code on it. And this is the level that we have to take two intentional deaths on. So that's pretty cool. Once I get past the shopping section, the initial shopping section of this level... Uh, I need to not take a death until I actually get to the part that I need to take a death at. So we're gonna top off on our health. Get some more keys. Top off on ammo. Very important to top off on ammo. You'll see why. Alright, that's fine. We're gonna carefully cut across like that. We're going to go in here just to grab these two keys. Of course, we pick up the credits just because of how the hitboxes work. And now we can head to the big climax of the game. Well, I don't know. I don't know if you consider this the big climax or not. It's definitely a big, important level. So we have to intentionally start the self-destruct sequence manually. And the only way to do that is by taking a death to destroy the shields, and then activating it, and on the way out, dying from the big red laser. Now, we are leaving. And we're gonna have to go back the way we came, go back to the deck lift that we were on. And uh, that will take us to a fun adventure. Alright, so, looks like we're gonna have at least four lives going into the final levels of the game. There are two levels after this. And I'm going to top off on ammo and health. The tiny little aliens, if there's a whole bunch of them, they will drain your health in a heartbeat. Last level is probably, ugh, is probably going to be the best example of that happening. Okie doke. So let's head to the end. There we go. Now, the lift has gone, and now uh, it is stuck, and now there are blue eyes staring at you. And it's very dark. And another funny thing can happen. Watch as it doesn't happen. Just gotta get to the end. Funny thing? Gonna activate the funny thing? No? Okay. Uh, there's supposed to be a self-destruct sequence. Oh, no, there it is. All right. So now that we've made it to there, we've made it onto the final level, the hatchery. This is where the big alien queen is at, and we're going to have to kill it and get out of here. Now, what's stopping us is, well, it's been the enemy for the whole game, the aliens. So we're going to need to be very, very careful here. Especially since I'm almost out of this life. And there is a little bit of a journey to get to the first aid kit. But I'm just going to go ahead and take an intentional death there. And that way we can just focus on getting to the end. Uh-oh, I opened up an egg. That's fine. We're just going to have to carefully... Maneuver our way through here to minimize fights if possible, but if we do have to fight, then 
do very short taps of firing just so we don't use up too much ammo. Alright, we got fairly lucky right here. Yeah, we got fairly lucky right there. That's fine. We still have two lives. Still have two lives. Gonna head into here. Now we start the final boss. I'm gonna try to get as much shots off as I can because this boss is very annoying. They will just sit here for minutes on end sometimes. And you gotta, like, shake them loose like that. And we're gonna have to do some fast tapping. But what compounds the issue for this level is the fact that the walls are ramps, so very difficult. And that is a pretty decent time. My PB is a 2348, so that is... That is really good, wow. Okay. Yeah, that's Alien Breed. Special Edition 92. Uh, as this is a budget title, they didn't have enough space to fit an ending. You can look at the ending to the original Alien Breed and the intro disc on YouTube. And yeah, they just have this text box or text crawl right here. So that's, uh, that's pretty neat. But anyway, yeah, that's Alien Breed. 92 Special Edition. My name is TBCR. I hope you enjoy the rest of the marathon here. And uh, I'll see you for marathon, unless that's before this. We'll see.